G'day, GT here. If it looks like I've been bush for a few days, that's because I have. I've just uh, just returned from Armadale in northern New South Wales to pick up my new toy, this uh, 1979 VB Commodore. So let's uh, let's go and have a closer look. All right, this poor old girl is not exactly pretty. It's actually been sitting on a farm in the elements for more than half its life, apparently. Last registration was in uh, the year 2000, which is 20 years ago. Given that the car is only 41 years old, it means that, yeah, pretty much half its life it's sat around doing nothing. It is a 4.2 litre V8, which is one of the reasons why I shook hands on this car eight years ago. It's actually taken me eight years of stuffing around with other things to uh, go and pick it up off my mate Paul Cundy, who was, uh, <laughs> I don't know whether to love him or loathe him for leaving it in a paddock for so long. But look, it's actually in better condition than it looks. Um, there is some rust. Being a country car from northern New South Wales, it's uh, got its fair share of stone chips and, um, you know, having survived 40 scorching Aussie summers, the paint's not the best. There is a bit of rust in one rear quarter panel. That's not a difficult fix. There is a bit of rust in one floor pan, which I'll have to replace with a cut or with an aftermarket replacement. There is rust in one sill which once again is not a difficult replacement for the home base restorer. It's not something you do every weekend, but for a car such as this, and I do love my early Commodores, I think they're terrific, and many of them grew up with these cars, you know, cluttering the car parks and, and supermarket shopping centres of Australia. Um, I'm going to put the effort into it, but I'm not going to restore it. I'm going to leave this old girl pretty much the way it is, after giving it a mechanical refreshment and uh, a good once over underneath. Anyway, hope you like the plans. We'll see how it turns out. Cheers.